code signal RK chess board cell color. Hello everyone. My name is Joshua and I'll be solving this chessboard cell color problem with code signal. And let's begin. So you're given two cells and you want to determine if they are on the same color or not. Let's look at these examples. They are in a different color, A1, C3. That's true. If you look here, they're in different color because A1 and B H3 is uh, different and therefore it's false. Um, let's think here. Is there a pattern we can discern, guys? Please pause the video and um, rewind and replay, rewind and replay. I mean, I don't mind it. It's going to improve my, you know, YouTube SEO, but that's fine. Okay, so here's what I noticed. Let's get cut the chase. Now, if you think of these A, B, C, D, E as like budget values, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if you do like what you say, C3 minus A1, um, if it's C minus A, they're going to have um, a gap of 2, basically. Um, and that's like an even number. If it's where E minus A, that's also an even number. And therefore, and even the same applies to just even these numbers. There's a gap. Therefore, since they're both evens, um, if this, you calculate the gaps between the respective axes of their location, like x to x, y to y, um, they're even numbers. Therefore, it's um, in um, the same color. Now, look at this. This one is a bit different. H minus, no, wait, sorry. It's 3 minus 1 is 2, is 2, which is an even number. So why didn't it work? Look at the H minus A. That's going to be an odd number. Therefore, um, now we can create that condition. It's only same color if um, same axis locations difference is an even number for both. So it has to be both for the letters and a number side, and therefore it'll be true. Now this could be done simply just by doing this. Return, oh, uh, let's make it a little bit more nicer actually. So you could do character, uh, let's call it C1, uh, let's call it X. Oh gosh, that's, that's really, oh, X and Y axis. I, that's the way I see it, but let's just do it this way. Might not look good, but I think it's um, for the sake of uh, arguments. Let's just make it nicer like that. Now C1, Y, let's get equal cell. character at one okay and now the next one is going to be c2x which is equal cell 2 at 0 sub 2y which is equal cell 2 dot care at 1 there you go now with that in mind one of the beautiful things about Java I don't know if it happens to Python or JavaScript but if you subtract or increment or do some um, arithmetic with two characters, it's going to convert to an int. So let me explain it to you. So first time, we're going to return if um, c2, c2x minus c1x modulus of 2 is equal to 0. So right now, we're doing the differences based on their x-axis for these two cells. And we'll be doing the same thing with the other side. And it has to be and condition because they both have to be even. C two Y minus C one Y is equal zero to be true. So if we run these tests, it should work. Oh no! I forgot to make this modulus too. Sorry about that. Okay, hold for a second. Let's try that again. So they both have to be even just with this pattern. Huh, what do I do wrong here? Hey guys, I think I have an idea of why it's not working. I'm going to experiment with how the math that abs and see what happens. And um, we also want to remove this equals equals zero. What I want to do instead of this equals equals zero. Okay, so um, I want to see if they equal each other actually. This is the plan. So what's happening? So here's what I realized. I neglected to see what happened if it's B2. Um, if it's that scenario, 
you realize that the differences between each of these, um, you know, if they're both evens or both odds, if they're the same kind of even or odd difference, um, if their difference is both even or odd, I mean, same one type, then it is the same color. So same color if I did redefine this definition, difference of same axis is both even or both odd. If not, it's um, it's not the same color. So let's hope this works. Nice. Let's submit the question to see if it works still. Oh, I missed one question. I have a feeling that it's because of the um, hmm. The feeling is because of the uh, that it could, if it's negative, it's going to throw it off. So I'm going to do this one and see what happens. Okay, let's submit this one. Ah, there you go. Because I think that if the positions of the cells are switched around, it's going to mess around with it. Um, so anyways guys, I think I solved this question. Um, please like and subscribe if you like my content. This one threw me off a little bit. I'm sorry for the misinformation in the beginning. Um, but if you have a better answer than this, um, please post it down below. Um, and if please also post down below if you can think better variable names. It's important to get those small things right, actually. Um, interviewers, I think, sometimes look for that kind of stuff and it kind of could be a little picky, so watch out for that. Um, all right, guys, take care.